About a month before he would gun down a Detroit officer, 19-year-old Amani Davis came face to face with East Point police. Oh, okay. Oh, okay, so I'll let me go. You might as well let me go then. Is that a plan? And this dumb got me up. Why is he putting his hands on me, bro? Davis was seen fighting in broad daylight outside his family's East Point home. It would mark at least the seventh time he'd encounter police in less than four years. Yeah, like I said, I'll kill you. And on this day, Davis was shirtless and belligerent, arguing with family and officers. Bro, don't touch me, bro. I'm not playing, bro. Don't touch Under, me, bro. Like I said, you're going to get your food. Don't touch me, bro. You're not checking, something. bro. I don't hear, understand understand this, bro. You know my daddy, my mama, not nothing. According to a police report, Davis's mother had called 911, saying her son was irate and she wanted him to leave. I am willing to pack up his stuff as long as he leaves out of here. I do not want him in the house in his state of mind. Records show that as far back as 2019, his mother called police when Amani, then 16, was fuming, yelling and banging on the door, saying he wanted to move into foster care. It was then that his mom told officers he may have a mental disorder and wished to petition him to a hospital. Three years later, she would tell officers that the help she sought never came. Is he diagnosed with anything? Or? Uh, like I said, this has been having these problems since he was a kid, since he was a teenager, and every time I call the police, try to get help from the state, because I'm he's not threatening to kill me me or himself, yeah. or he's not on drugs, you guys, not you personally, yeah, they won't do anything. Everything is going on in this wicked house. With each new contact with police, Davis's unraveling becomes more pronounced. After a violent outburst in 2019, his mother called 911, telling officers she no longer knows what to do with him, that she tried sending him to boot camp and even dropping him off at the 6th Precinct in Detroit. A month later, records show Davis was transported by ambulance for a mental health petition. It is unclear if one was sought or granted, but months later, records show that Davis returned home after leaving Children's Hospital in Detroit. Then came allegations of attempted credit card theft, of fighting in the street, and being found with an illegal taser. To anyone who knew him, Davis's troubles did not appear to be a secret, not even to neighbors. We heard everything was going on. We always been like that. Davis would be arrested on this night in May, charged with disturbing the peace. What officers didn't know, just one day earlier, he'd walked into an East Point gun shop with a friend who, according to prosecutors, helped him buy this military-style firearm. Davis would obtain it days later. It was the same gun he would use to kill officer Lauren Quartz. Oh, I don't give a about none of this. 